Okay. Yeah, you better believe that's an angry tap this time. I'm on fucking vacation, but I can't stay quiet about this. An indigenous group in Newfoundland and Labrador who are using a Wiccan symbol. Okay, now just that alone. Let's take that and have a look at it, okay? It's called the First Light Friendship Center. They're coming forward and saying that there needs to be some sort of native, and I assume non-native, or indigenous and non-indigenous, uh, reconciliation commission created for Truth and Reconciliation Day tomorrow. Um, no. You don't get a fucking cent, as far as I'm concerned. Until at least one shovel has been put in the ground in Kamloops. Because that's what Truth and Reconciliation Day was supposed to be created for. Was to, to make everything between the whites and the reds, or browns, whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves. It doesn't matter to me. Native, indigenous, First Nations, I don't care. Whatever you want to be called, doesn't matter. What matters is the truth. Truth and reconciliation. So what's in the ground in Kamloops? Oh, it's a mass grave. No, it's not a mass grave. It looks like it might possibly be a mass grave. There has never been a shovel put in the ground. Don't you think the families of those kids that are, you know, supposedly there would love to know whether or not they're family are actually there. I know if it was a case of my family members went missing generations ago, I'd want to know what the fuck had happened to them. But no. The natives are being represented by a non-profit organization that's basically doing to the red man here what's been done by BLM to the black man in Canada, in America. Sorry, I'm pissed off and it should be quite obvious I'm not happy about this. As far as I'm concerned, the Newfoundland government shouldn't give these people a fucking minute of time until somebody puts a shovel in the ground in Kamloops and proves that there's some sort of reconciliation needed. Not only that, but beyond that, what exactly does decolonize YYT mean? YYT, for those of you who don't know, is actually the Canadian airport code for St. John's. Which wasn't a native community when the white man came here 500 fucking years ago. If it was, there'd be all kinds of talk about how there were archaeological finds in St. John's, the same as they find in London. But there's none. I'm that pissed off about it, my cigarette actually went out. Hmm? Okay, maybe it didn't. But, yeah, I'm supposed to be on vacation, but I can't keep silent about this. This is absolute bullshit. This is more excuse to blame the white man for some kind of pseudo-original sin bullshit that I, and my generation, and the generations before really had no part in. You want to be mad about somebody, uh, at somebody, be mad at the government that tried to cover it up, be mad at the church that still won't admit to it, even though they're selling off all their fucking properties to pay for lawsuits. Yeah, you got a, a, an apology from Pope Kami. That make you feel better? No? No, I didn't expect it would. You know what would make you feel better? Moving on. My family was resettled in the 60s. Sorry, the 50s. My family, both sides of my family, were told, no, you can't stay in the community you established because the government won't take care of you anymore if you do. There's something to be said for telling the government to suck one. But, yeah, uh, you know, if you really want to say that you're for truth and reconciliation, then actually act like it. Push for the truth to be found. Find out what's actually in the ground in Kamloops. Don't turn around and say, oh, uh, the natives need uh, reconciliation or um, reparations from the white man. Do you have any idea how many of those natives are actually pure-blood natives? Not very fucking many. That's how many. As one of my friends in Alberta pointed out when we were talking about our childhoods, I grew up more native than he did. 
and he's actually native. You look at him, you don't see anybody who wouldn't be chasing buffalo 200 years earlier, 300 years earlier, whatever. Yeah. That's the problem. All you do is look at people. You look at someone like me, you see, oh, look, bald and white man. Gotta be a racist and a problem. No, no, I'm actually focused on the truth here. Okay, if there's blame to go around, by all means, put it on those who deserve it. Put it on the government. Oh, wait, they've already paid reparations. And apologized. And without even doing any investigation, assumed they had some share of ancestral guilt for a mass grave that still hasn't been proven to exist. And yet, somehow, everyone is still acting as if this is a, a foregone conclusion. That, oh yeah, no, it's a mass grave. No, no, it has not been proved. And until it is, why would anyone support reconciliation just to assuage their white guilt? Get bent. I don't have any white guilt. I also don't have any white privilege. You may notice I'm not exactly in a fancy studio here. The more we are divided and allow ourselves to be divided by people who don't have anything like good interests at heart, who don't want the truth to come out, who don't want anything but to push their agenda, the more we allow those people to divide ourselves, the faster we are going to fall apart as a country, as a nation, and as a people. It's absolute bullshit, and it needs to be fought. Now, all that, I'm done. So, I hope you're having a good day. Hope you continue to have good days. And rise and rise again, until lambs become lions. Bye-bye.